I like to think we'll take a little bit of this campsite home with us <laughs> as well as on video Morning. Morning. It's the 30th of September. We arrived here last night after Rick finished work and we are at Hilly Springs campsite, which is just outside Ashbourne. It's about a mile's walk into Ashbourne. Yeah, uh, as Heather said last night. Um, it didn't go well, <laughs> if I'm honest. The site Hilly Springs gives you a clue. <laughs> it's hilly and presumably the springs is something to do with water. Mm -hmm. We're on a grass pitch. Can you guess what went wrong? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, I'll show you the, the approach to the site in a bit, um, but suffice to say, it's uphill, it's on grass. Uh, we had to have a few run ups to get to where we are. <laughs> We're now just abandoned, pointing downhill in the vain hope that uh, when it rains, it's supposed to rain all afternoon, by the way. This is early Saturday morning. We're trying to get out. Don't be fooled by the sunshine. Apparently come one o'clock, all Saturday afternoon and all Sunday, it's gonna rain. So luckily we're pointing downhill, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I'm hoping if I have to, to just drive off the top of the ramps and just go for it. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. Uh, we'll pick you up later in the video. <laughs> huh. Back in the spring I guess or at least very early summer we rode part of the Tissington Trail to Biggin and we said we'd come back and complete it this is the attempt to complete the Tissington Trail we've got about a 24 mile round trip today hopefully before it rains don't worry by the way if you do not like the cycling part of these videos and I know some people don't it's not going to be massively cycling heavy uh, but we've got plenty of stuff on today but we just wanted to get this done this morning anyway tell them out of breath Heather said when we do this it's uphill to big in most of the way and she's not wrong I basically got told when we were on the top end of the Tissington Trail months ago that you're better off starting at Hashbourne and then going back to Ashbourne because it's uphill all the way <laughs> so at least hopefully then it'll be downhill coming back <laughs> look at that hey. for someone to chop down a load of trees no oh, don't talk about chopping down trees this uh, video as we're filming this is a couple of days after that uh, tree on the uh, Hadrian's Wall Sycamore Gap was felled by some idiot um, and obviously we're lucky we went and we we saw it and we've got it on video which is a great thing about having the channel but yeah sad days but yeah, yeah it would be, it be hang on go it on shouldn't be famous for that should it no no now it will become famous for that unfortunately it's better than being famous for a really crap kevin cosner film though <laughs> in fairness we've camped before not in this van but in a previous van there's a there's a campsite as we go further up called ashbourne heights um, and we'll pass a railway bridge that brings you down onto this trail. We've walked from Ashbourne Heights into Tissington, Tissington Village itself. There's a great tea rooms there called Herbert's Tea Rooms, and it's a lovely, beautiful village. Cool. Yeah, Herbert's. Yeah, I always remember where food is. <laughs> anyway, let's just have a look. <laughs> We left at Ashbourne this morning and we're now at Thorpe um, and we're heading all the way up to Biggin um, which like I say is about 12 miles from the campsite to there. I think this is the one where we get on at Ashbourne Heights but I can't honestly remember it's been a while it's got to be nearly four years since we've been here I think Yes, I think that is it. Soon find out because I'll start recognising things as I go down here now, won't I? Yeah, we're just coming up to an old station now. There's a cafe here. I think this was called 
what was this called? Oh, this is the car park for Tissington, yeah. And right, so this part of the Tissington Trail is all new to us now. We normally go off up there into the village if we've been. Um, so, onward to um, Biggin. Well, we've made it back to Biggin. We've just taken a photo actually. When we were here three months ago, we've just worked it out. Mm -hmm. It seems like longer than that. It just shows to show you how shows much to show you. shows to show you. <laughs> Breaking these teeth in for a horse. It just goes to show you how much we've done through the summer because it seems like ages since we were here, don't you think? Yeah. But it's three months, uh, 28th of June, you said, didn't you? Yep, 28th and, of June. And it's the 30th of September now. So if I spin the camera, we came from that way and then got here and turned round. The pub that we thought we may stop at, the Waterloo, is down there. We never ended up doing that. And uh, yeah, we've just come from that way. I am so glad that someone said to us, start at Ashbourne. Yeah. And go and do it that way, because it's been uphill. All yeah, the way. It's, been, it's been hard going. Just leaving big in. The rain has started, but it's only gentle at the minute. Yeah, this way's better, isn't it? <laughs> Downhill. Downhill this way, yeah. Puppy! <laughs> yeah, the view's definitely better on the way back. Apart from the weather, obviously. It's not raining again now, though. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, how much of a downhill it is on the way back. It's it's very enjoyable coming back. Uh, yeah, Heather's laughing as well. Our moods have lifted, definitely coming back to going. So, campsite entrance is off the A52, just outside of Ashbourne. You turn in, and there's a sign there that says Hilly Springs Campsite. Me and Poppy will now show you the approach. So it is on a working farm. So you um, you do drive through the farmyard itself to the campsite. And um, this is where we got a bit muddled yesterday. The approach is okay, you're on hardcore here. But when we got to this bend, we stopped because we'd got no idea where to go next. And you can see what happens. We stopped here, started wheel spinning. So I had to back it all the way down there and have a run up and just basically decide where we were gonna be. That van that we've just seen come out wasn't on here. So I can only assume he's abandoned it or something. I've no idea. So we basically just kept driving, spinning, and I just turned it round and put it facing downhill in the hope that tomorrow Gravity will be my friend. Um, you can see how muddy we are and the ramps are starting to sink. What I'm worried about is if the rear starts sinking anymore as it gets wetter, is getting, getting off really. I'm hoping that I can sort of reverse down the ramp at a brisk speed and it will push me out of that divot there and then getting downhill shouldn't be an issue we'll see later in the video won't we um i'll show you up here when i put my bike away what there is there's only toilets on site there's no showers or anything like that and they are just in an old shed but it's it's good it does the job the verdict is 24 
2.2 miles. All right, as if by magic, the bikes are now back on. Uh, I'll continue showing you the site. There isn't a great deal to it with these little, you know, it's not even a CS, you know what I mean? It's a private site, but this type of thing where it's your basic things. So obviously you've got your rubbish, recycling and all that. Um, I'm not really sure what this little, this little cupboard is. I think it's just their stock cupboard. I can see toilet roll in it and stuff like that. And then you've got a washing up, drinking water. Um, not really sure where the Elson point is. I saw some bloke tipping something away earlier today, but I don't know where it was. Anyway, doesn't really matter. We'll just take ours home. And then yeah, the, sh the shed, it's just a toilet. I won't open that. It's just a toilet in a shed. Happy enough, clean enough. Proper toilets as well, not porter loos or nothing. It's just, um, it's got running water in there. And then um, there's a fishing pool. Apparently this site's used a lot by fishermen. Um, down the corner down there, there's a set of steps that takes you out of the site onto the main road. Right, so as I said, corner of the campsite, there's a little stile. And then we're just walking down here towards the main road. Hello. Just started um, raining a bit now, hasn't yeah, it? It's not that heavy. Got the max on. We bought our coats, but it's just not cold. It, it was cold overnight though, wasn't it? Well. Bloody hell, when I got up this morning, 13 degrees in the van this morning. <laughs> It Close was to what we've been used to, yeah. yes. Oh, I think this is a bit ha it's a bit hazardous this for filming. Let me just Yeah, I'll put the camera away. Yeah, the steps are very slippy. Obviously under under the trees they're covered in moss and stuff. So if you do come here, be wary. It's the 5 0, it's the 5 0, and they've started. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Old Policeman Pretend Police Car. Breaking the law, actually breaking the law. Not allowed to display police signs while driving, even though it's clearly not a police car. Out of the sight, as you see down the steps, you're straight on the main road. There's a, uh, a home base at the bottom. There's quite a lot of shops on the way down here. And there's a big Aldi down here. This is where we rode the bikes to earlier anyway. The pub's just by the Aldi. It really is a five minute walk. So here's the pub. Um, it is unfortunately just a, you know, chain Marston's pub really. So there's not gonna be any independent beers in here. And it is gonna be your usual pre-packaged food but it's close enough. Yeah, you don't know what it's going to be like. Enjoy Christmas Day together. I'm not being a Grinch, but it's September. <laughs> so, after a nice couple of hours in the pub, nice bit of dinner. We've now decided that we ain't going to want any tea later. So but, we just, but we have bought some cake. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of cake <laughs> and a cup of tea later tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so, just retire to the van now, I think. You probably he, won't see us till the morning. He's decided it's nan, nan and nap time. You know me, got to have a nan and nap. For your entertainment, uh, it's Sunday morning. I don't know if you can hear. I'm not dancing. It's pretty boggy. So, exit strategy. I've just took all the mats up. The ramps have sunk well. Back end looks like it's not sunk. So, my plan is start her up reverse off the ramps as quickly as I can to hopefully get out of the divot at the back and then just drive forward and come and collect the ramps later. Heather's gonna stand over there for your entertainment and see if it works. Okay, here we go. Reverse. 
So let's see whether his plan works then. <laughs> mine, I'm going to move the ramps. I'm never going to get down on Right, okay. <laughs> Come on, gravity. Oh, gravity's your friend. Oh, yeah. Associate is now back in the cab. <laughs> uh, wasn't too bad, thankfully. Bit of wheel spin getting off the ramps, but to be honest, that was my plan, was to just try and floor it backwards, and it worked, to be fair. And then gravity helped, so. Yeah, definitely. The yeah. right spot for getting off <laughs> yeah i this time of year i really don't like grass pitches and we have this conversation a lot um <laughs> strangely next weekend if we end up going where we're going it's first come first serve on the hardcore i'm hoping we get one because we're going back to wales next week maybe yeah maybe weather dependent this time of year as we've said many times if the weather's awful we don't bother i mean you could argue it's not been great this weekend we spent a lot more time indoors than we'd like but we wanted to finish the tissington and we knew we were running out of time so it worked we got you know we got what we, we needed to do done yesterday didn't we yeah and the pub was nice um, but yeah, realistically, we we don't like watching a lot of TV in the van, but that's all we've done this weekend, really. Anyway, I think that campsite would be lovely in the dry weather because the access to shops and pub yeah. Oh, yeah, and, the, and the trail is great. It's, 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 a, it's a brilliant um, spot. Yeah, can you watch your side because it's a busy... Yeah, nothing at the moment. Okay. So, yeah. Hopefully I've made some sort of half enjoyable video of this one. If you stuck around till the end because of the bikes, <laughs> we appreciate it. Still nobody's sending me a big fat tyre bike. So I don't know why I bought these bikes really. I only bought them obviously being a YouTuber to get a free bike. <laughs> well, it worked for the, you know, I bought an EcoFlow and then someone gave us a free one. So we, ramble, give, we ramble, gave it, we gave ramble. it away though. Ramble, ramble. <laughs> well, you've not said goodbye yet. I've had a lovely weekend, even though someone puts the damper on it. We, Dam don't, we, we, we don't we don't need we don't need the weather to put a dampener on it. That's what I've got this wet squid for. <laughs> Funny weekend really. Funny weekend. Well I've enjoyed it. Anyway, Hope you've enjoyed it and your pop. As always, if you want to join the Facebook group, feel free. And if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a comment the comments are so lacking on youtube these days as people watch more and more on tv um, and yet can comment freely when you offer them something for free <laughs> millions of comments when you want to win a, a power bank hardly any when you watch a video thanks for that there you go i'm a sarky twat isn't I? <laughs> he's a miserable twat <laughs> <laughs> and on that note bye bye i have to live with him bye bye <laughs>